Okay, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Good day again everyone So today we will be learning about um, the zeros of a quadratic function and how to find them using the quadratic formula Okay, I have already written here on the board the quadratic formula that we will be using for today which is actually, ito lang naman, uh, this is the only quadratic formula that should, you should know of and memorize, okay? And then beneath that is the standard form of the quadratic function, which is of course f of x is equals to ax squared plus bx plus c. Wherein a, a and b, a, a, b, c are elements of a real number, of course. Let me just write it down. a, b, and c are elements of real numbers. And at the same time, um, a cannot be equals to 0. Hindi siya pwede maging 0. Okay? And then, of course, the a and b are the numerical coefficients of x squared. Yan. Numerical coefficient, the number part. b is the numerical coefficient of x, yung raised to 1. And then, of course, we have c, which is known as the constant. Okay? So, before you can actually evaluate this thing, what, what you need to do first is, of course, um, to make sure that your given is in the standard form. So what do I mean by that? If you're, for just ex example before we solve anything. Say you have y is equals to 2x squared plus 5x minus 2 plus 3x, like that. Okay, you must combine everything. You will notice that the x squared here is 1, bx is 1, and c is just simply 1. So if you will notice here, there are two x's. Okay, so you need to combine them. Combine them based on their signs. This one is positive and this one is positive. So that would be positive 8x. And then of course, arrange them in a sense na you can easily identify the a, b, and c's. So let me erase that. Oh, I can't erase that. Let me just select this. Okay. Okay. So now let's proceed with our examples. Okay, um, today we will be solving four examples. Okay, and our very first one is f of x is equals to x squared plus 6x plus 9. Okay, so the very first thing that you need to do here is identify what is your a, what is a, what is b, and what is c. Because you will need that to plug in into your um, quadratic formula okay and if you can easily observe that it does not matter if you will write it or not okay but in any case if you're having a little bit of troubles you can write them down so that you, it's very visible to you okay as for this one if there is no numerical coefficient it's always one so we have one then this is six and then this is nine and then you just simply need to take the operation before it so if by any case this one is minus, then you have negative 6, okay? If this one is neg minus 9, then this is negative 9, okay? So having a, b, and c, of course we have this one, our formula. Negative b plus minus the square root of b squared, this one, ito, I'm reading this one. Minus 4ac, okay, all over 2a. So let me just write our formula here x is equals to negative b plus minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. So I will replace those values na lang so that it's, oops, sorry. So that's visible for you. Ano ba yung nangyayari? Okay? And when I am substitu substituting, I am always placing a parenthesis. Why? Kasi there are cases na may double negatives para hindi kayo malito. Okay? So this one is 1, this one is 6, this one is 4ac daw, so a is this one and c is 9, oops, sorry, and c is 9. This one is of course 2a, so we have 1 here, okay, oops, sorry. And of course, evaluating this one will give you, of course, negative 1 plus or minus the square root of 36 minus 4 times 1 times 9, the answer there is 36 as well. Okay, all over 2 times, oh, sorry, all over 2, kasi 2 times 1 is of course 2. Giving you here, 36 minus 36, the answer is 0, so the square root of 0 over 2. And of course, the square root of 0 is just simply 0, leaving you with 
negative 1 plus 0 over 2 and your other which would be negative 1 minus 0 over 2. But then again, any number plus 0 and minus 0 would just simply be the number itself. So maybe you are wondering, sir, why did you write it as plus and minus 0? Eh, anyways, it would be the same. Okay. So I wrote it down because there are cases that if, if this is 3, then this would be plus 3 and minus 3. So of course, that would be different. Okay. So plus and minus is very important here. Plus and minus is very important for you to separate. Okay. So since they are the same, so just simply write them as negative 1 half. Okay. So this would be your answer. X is equals to negative 1 half. And of course, trying to, um, trying to um, plug in this one into your given, then, oh wait, is it really 1 half? I think I, I wrote, um, neg oh, sorry, this is not 1. This should be 6, sorry. So that's my mistake. Anyways, um, it's medyo malapit lang naman. 6 here, then 6 here, and then 6 here. Nothing changed. Okay, nothing changed. 6 and then 6. Then 6 and then 6 and then 6. And negative 6 divided by 2, the answer is, of course, negative 3. So, yeah. I was wondering because it's, it's a perfect square trinomial. This one, perfect square trinomial. So, it should be 3. Anyways, so, yeah. So, your answer would be x is equals to negative 3. So, again, this one is a 0. Meaning, if you substitute this given or this value, sorry, to your given, the answer should be, for the function, should be 0. So going back, our function is of course f of x is equals to x squared plus 6x plus 9, okay? So this one should be negative 3 squared, right? Plus 6 times negative 3 plus 9. So negative 3 squared, the answer is just simply 9, right? Plus 6 times negative 3, the answer is negative 18 plus 9. So again, as I've told you before, kung hindi nyo gagalawin, wag nyo aalisin. If you did not touch, do not remove. So this is the only thing that you touched or evaluated. So it's 9. This one's negative 18. Positive 9, it will not change. So you leave it as is. Okay? Evaluating this one will give you a 0 using your calculators. Okay? So leaving your this is our checking pala. Leaving your answer for the value of x or the 0 correct because when you substituted to our given function, the answer became 0. Okay? So if it becomes 0, then of course your, um, the value of your x is correct. Okay? So that is our first example. I do hope that you got that. Okay? Next one. We have f of x is equals to x squared minus x minus 20. So I think the answer here should be 5 and 4. Okay? Oh, so it's uh, actually it's positive 5 and negative 4. Okay? So let's um, check whether our answer would be correct. Positive 5 and negative 4. So again, our the first thing that we need to do is of course to identify what is our a and our b and our c. Our a is of course 1, b is negative 1, and c is negative 20. Okay? So knowing these things, and our formula would be negative b, which is of course our b is negative 1. So it's negative negative 1 plus minus b squared. Our b is again negative 1. So b squared plus 4a, a is 1. And our C is 20. So it's negative, I mean it's negative 20. Okay? So giving us this. Divided by. Okay? Divided by this one. Um, 2A. 2 times A, which is of course 1. Okay? So this is just by substitution lang, guys. Okay? So evaluating again, this would be 1 plus and minus the square root of. 4 times, okay, so we have this one is 1 squared, negative 1 squared is 1, plus this one, the answer here would be um, 80, 4 times 1, 
times 2, 4, 8. So, it's 80. S, negative 80. It's negative 80. Plus 4AC. Wait, let me check whether I am correct. Okay, anyways. Wait. I think I, we wrote something wrong. But I don't know. Let's, let's, let's see. Oh, P squared minus. Ah, is it minus? Wait, let me check. I think I, I got it wrong. Oh yeah, it's minus 4AC, sorry. That's why I was wondering. So this one, let's change it. So this is minus 4AC, okay. So this one, this would be plus, kasi double negative, okay. So this should be minus negative 80, okay. So let's just write it down. Over 2, 1 plus, um, the square root of 1 plus 80. And the answer here will just simply be 81, okay. All over 2. So, and this is 1 plus and minus the square root of 81. And the square root of 81 is just simply um, 9. 9 times 9 is 81. So, 9 divided by 2. Okay? So, then again, I, I've told you before that it's very important to this, uh, to what you call this, to separate the plus and minuses. So, giving you a value for x4 of 1 plus 9 over 2 and 1 minus 9 over 2. And evaluating the very first value of x, 1 plus 9 is 10, divided by 2, the answer is 5. So, tama yung unang prediction ko. Which is, it should be 5. And the next prediction is, it should be negative 4. So, 1 minus 9 is negative 8. And negative 8 divided by 2, it's negative 4. Okay? Giving you the value of your zeros as 5 and negative 4. And of course, you need to check Checking will go as follows. Just simply substitute substitution. Our given is f of x is equals to x squared minus x minus 20. Um, our first f is um, 5. Okay, so this would be 5 squared minus 5 minus 20 and this is 25 minus 5 minus 20 obviously this would become 0 therefore your first 0 is correct ito yung pinakauna okay then we go with the f of x uh, f of negative 4 so this is negative 4 squared minus 4 minus 20 so this would be um 16 i guess yeah 16 this is double negative, so this becomes plus 4 minus 20, giving you an answer of 0 again. Therefore, your next 0, which is negative 4, is also correct. Okay? So, that is our second example. Next example, let's uh, make it a little bit faster so that our video is not that long. Okay, um, it's 2x squared plus 15x plus 3. Okay? Our A is 2, B is 15, and C is 3. Substitution on our um, given formula, it's bound to be negative B. Sorry. B plus and minus the square root of B squared. Minus 4. A is 2, and C is 3. Okay. All over 2 A. Our A is, of course, again 2. Okay. So, let's try to multiply this one and evaluate the following negative 15 plus and minus the square root of 15 squared minus 4ac, which is 4 times 2 times 3. 15 squared is um, 2 to 5 minus 4 times 2, it's uh, 8 times 3, the answer is 24 divided by 2 times 2, it's 4. And evaluating the number inside, it will give us 2 to 5. Sorry, that's too long. 2 to 5 minus 24, it's 201. And getting the square root of that, the answer is, uh, there's no exact answer. So it's 201. I mean, it's 221. Okay, 225. Let, let me double check. 225 minus 25. Yeah, it's 201. Okay. So, knowing that it's 201 and then this is over 4, then our answer will just simply be 2. Kasi there is no square root for 201. Wala pong square root ang 201. So, it just simply be 15 plus square root of 201 over 4. Okay? And negative 15, sorry. Oh, gosh. 
negative 15 minus square root of 201 over 4. And believe it, believe it or not, this one is a better answer than having um, the value of square root of 201. Again, this one is better than having a value of uh, the square root of 201. Why? Because getting the square root of 201 will give you a decimal and that is not acceptable. Okay? Hindi mo sa, um, not, it's not that it's not acceptable but this one is easier to look at instead of having, having a fraction and a decimal at the same time. Okay? So this one is acceptable. It's okay. Trying to check. Checking uh, by substitution, it will give you zero as well. Okay? So I will not check so that we will uh, wrap up um, fast. Okay? So the next, the last example po. Is f of x is 2x squared minus 3x plus 5. A, B, and C. A is 2. B is negative 3. C is 5. Giving you uh, the quadratic formula as follows. Negative B plus minus the square root of B squared. This is negative 3 squared. Minus, sorry, it's not plus. It's not plus. Minus 4 A C. This is A is 2 and C is 5. Divided by 2 times A, which is 2. Evaluating, double negative po guys. So this would become positive 3 plus minus the square root of 3 squared is, negative 3 squared is 9. Does not matter whether it's positive or negative, it becomes positive. Minus 4 times 2 times 5. Again, minus 4 times 2 times 5. And 4 times 2 is 8 and five, 8 times 5 is 40. Okay, divided by... 4. Okay? So, evaluating again further. Do naman tayo sa may number. Uh, let's go with the number inside, the square root sign or the radical sign. 9 minus 40, the answer is 31. But it's negative 31 because the number after this one is much larger. Okay? So, this is negative 31 over 4. But the thing about this one, guys, is... um. You need to evaluate that negative square root because why we are not accepting that because that number does not exist. So meaning you will have an answer of 3 plus and minus the square root of 31i over 4. Okay, again, it's the square root of 31i over 4. And that would be your um your answer because you cannot get the square root of 31 anymore and what we did with the negative square root is we took it out we removed it and we replaced it with an i outside okay so lastly of course the answer should be 2 because zero is eh. it should have a positive and negative um, root which is this would be 3 plus the square root of 31i over 4 and lastly 3 minus the square root of 31i over 4. Okay? Giving you your two zeros. This would be your zeros. 3 plus square root of 31i over 4. And 3 minus square root of 31i over 4. Again, it's plus minus. Okay? So, I do hope you got this one. And this is the last method that we will be discussing for finding the zeros of your quadratic functions. If you have any other questions, you can chat me. Or you can refer to the video. Repeat the video. If I am talking a little bit too fast, okay? So, thank you everyone for listening again. And, Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.